So now, uh, what about inserting an image? Well, you can go up here where it says insert image, and maybe you found something off the internet. Well, um, first of all, I've got nothing here to insert, so I'll import, but I don't, I don't have anything on my computer that I've downloaded. So let's go to the internet here, and I've got some Google, I Google searched for a cat, right? And so here's images, and I'm going to show you which ones are good and which ones are not good. Like this first one is not a good image for laser uh, engraving because the background is so dark. You're going to get just a big rectangle, and you'll kind of see, you'll, you'll probably see the cat there, but there's just going to be a lot of uh, a lot of darkness there. This one's really good because the background is white and the cat is just sitting right there. So one thing you can do, sometimes it'll give you these um, options and if you click the one that says transparent then all the backgrounds of these cats are, I don't know what that one's about, but um, especially these ones that are PNG files, PNG files don't have backgrounds, they have transparent backgrounds. So these would all be decent ones to use if you wanted an image. So let me grab this guy here and then I'm going to right click on him and just save image and I'll call that kitty and it's in my downloads. Now, and it's a PNG file, those are good because they have that transparent background. Um, if you're taking a picture of your own cat, maybe put it behind a, or something of, that you want, put it on a white background or use some sort of photo editing software to remove the background. Uh, so now let's go back to here. Now I can import and I'll go find the kitty. There it is. And say open. And now it's going to upload it. And there it is. So when I click on it, and then you've got to like make a box and uh, I'll make it like that big and then I'll put it right there. Cool. Um, now, um, that's going to be what's called a raster print. Um, you can also, well, I think I'll leave it at that for this video, uh, how to import images. There you go.